Hi guys, welcome back. Well, got a couple of beers that look similar, no label, nothing on the cap. Uh, a friend of mine, Dustin, done some home brewing and thought I'd drink these on camera. Uh, this one, I believe he said was an ale, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, with peach, peach or apricot. One of the two, but it was an extract. He said he didn't care too much for it. Uh, he said next time he makes it, or if he's already made it again, I don't know. He's going to use a puree, so please don't explode. All right, we're good. Ooh wee. I do not know the ABV on this beer. So it took like a two minute break. Came back and the head still hasn't gone down any. So we're just gonna have to dig into it I guess. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of a lot of hops out of it though. Real, real zippy kind of beer. Really lively. Honestly, it tastes like God. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. It tastes like uh, like a nectarine something like that so maybe it is peach I think it's good I'm not getting any nasty sourness or metallic I think straight out of the bottle uh, I could probably kill a six pack of this in, in an hour, hour and a half on a summer day uh, really I wouldn't say light beer I'm getting the hops a little dryness but just the flavor it <clears throat> Just the flavor it has, I could see being a great summer beer. I'd say it's more towards a slight piney hop note. Um, really the only citrus I'm getting would be from that, that extract you put in here. say do the same the same uh, ingredient you did and just do puree or something next time uh, maybe go a little more excessive on on the flavor bring out the bring out the peach or nectarine or whatever it was you use it tastes like a nectarine to me but I'm pretty sure you said it was peach Lively, really carbonated. Now, I really do like it. Like I said, I think it just needs to be a little stronger on that fruit, uh, or or make it a little more citrus hop forward. 
just that piney bitter towards the end kind of comes through and kills it on that whole fruit. Real easy drink. Uh, something that foams up like this, I'd have to drink it in a, a pint glass or something. Oh yeah, if it, I mean, if it was on the shelf and it was summertime, I could see myself getting something like this. Uh, depending on what the ABV is, um, and I say this is not too terribly high. It's right up front, a little maltiness, sweetness. like a slight pine bitterness and then uh, it leaves you with the bitterness and the, uh, the fruit extract that he used which I don't remember like I said for the 13th time it's probably peach real good if I was to, if I was to rate it that's an 8. Not too bad. I do like it. Alright, let me go rinse this glass out. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Um, just did the... I guess it was a... I think it was a peach. There's an ale. I knew, do know he said this was a brown ale. Once again, I hope it doesn't explode. Because I'm inside. Now nah, we're good. Look, and I didn't get 48 inches ahead. Oh boy, I'm getting a lot of caramel. Smells ultra sweet up front. I'm getting a slight juicy for kind of a smell too. It's kind of kind of weird. I'm getting like a juicy fruit gum. Mm. That smells pretty fucking good. Alright, let's get into it. For a slight instant, I'm getting that flavor too. It's really not too roasty. Um, and the bitterness is pretty tame. But like immediately I'm getting a juicy fruit gum sweetness and it goes into a <clears throat> very low roast. It kind of dies off with a slight dryness and bitterness. But that sweetness is with you the whole way. And that roastiness doesn't go away. But just for you know, just a few seconds, you get that juicy fruit. Yeah, I'm liking this one. Um, only thing is, I think if that roastiness was brought up just a little bit more, everything else is good. Um, sweetness is even good. And I really don't even like a super sweet beer, and I would consider this um, 
mid to higher end on sweetness for me. Hmm. I wonder if this would be a little better with some warmth on it. I don't know. You did a good one. good job with this one, though. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give a score on it, and I'm gonna sip on this for a little bit and let it kind of warm up. I'm getting kind of curious. Uh, I would definitely buy this. Um, I do like it a lot. Uh, I'll say nine on this one. Maybe even do the same uh, same beer. Just you know, add a little bit more roastiness to it. I don't brew beer. I don't know how the hell you're going to do it. Um, hmm. Maybe even try something a little, little different, like some caramelized pineapple. Uh, you know, just take some car pineapple, fresh pineapple, slice it, you know, hit it with a uh, with a propane torch, uh, bring out the caramelized sugars a little bit, toss those in there right before, you know, I don't know, for... It wouldn't take long to infuse it, maybe a few days. Toss it in there, let it sit, take it out, and bottle it up. Uh, hopefully the alcohol will be high enough to kill any sort of contaminants that the pineapple might bring. Who knows? Like I said, I don't know. I might make beer one day and it just explodes in my game garage. And then I'm banned by the wife on doing shit like that again. Yeah, I do like it. So there you go. Uh, Dustin, appreciate it. And we'll be seeing you.